Well, I'm pretty sure this is the greasers that come on this engine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's about normal. Whatever kind of grease it was, it's two different kinds. But we'll get these in the wash tank over there. Get all that grease out of there. Flush them out from end to end. But that's just normal, you know. That's not really bad gunk right there. I mean, it's bad enough. Like right here, whoever put this in there didn't get that out. You know, they left some gunk in there. You know, if you start with nothing, I think you kind of a little better on that right there. You know, get it all cleaned out because that, that's some that's some dried up sand stuff right there. You know, it's what you're going to find. Just be ready for it. And then also, the same, uh, I done looked at them. Man, that's worse. Sir. That's some of that black tar grease right there. Ah. I'm not sure what that would be. But, you, you know, still got some grease to it. You know, it's not, not, not been too bad. But, We'll get a we'll get a cable struck up to the end of it right there. A wash a wash brush and uh, swab that out. You, you know I don't recognize that grease right there. Um, I'm not sure what kind that would be. It's not good, but it's got one of them things right there in it. Uh, it keeps the cap from vibrating, I think. But because on these M's, it, it's a common, it's a common trait. Uh, I don't think it's no secret to anyone that owns an M. Um, that if you run them a lot. It'll suck the grease right out of these grease cups. But it's not too bad. And, uh, it, see, this is washer. Looks like this has had water in it. But, same kind of grease as they used up there. And the cap is, uh, it's really clean. The whole, the whole, whole amount come out of it. So, now we'll get these washed up and get them back into service. Sir. They got the logo on them. But, but this one doesn't. It, it, it has a pattern in it. You, you see this quite often on a McCormick Deer and M. 1905 on their pattern. December the 26th. 1905. That's pretty old, you know. In the scheme of things. Well, after all of that gunk out of there and uh, washed down through uh, some leftover lacquer thinner, they're, they're quite serviceable now. Uh, very clean. Good threads. 
and then you know to survive all of these years these two has the logo as I mentioned and this one you know they have some something else on there it's got like a zero in the middle and then it's got patent December 26 1905 with some dashes and some little marks right there but I think this came on the engine Maybe a day they didn't have any logo stamped. But we'll get a little primer on that. Get these mounted. We'll paint them same colored engine. 